we want to say welcome to our Black History Month third annual showcase of songs. And we're going to begin our program um, this afternoon. If everyone would stand and please look to your programs, we're going to sing the Black National Anthem together. Okay, so if everyone would stand, the words are in your program. All right. You ready? Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise as the, the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith and the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope and the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Second verse, stony the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod, felt in the day when hope unborn had died yet with a steady beat have not our weary feet come to the place for which our fathers died we have come over the way that the tears have been watered we have come treading our path through the blood of the slaughtered. Out from the gloomy past till now the stand at last where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. Last verse. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, Thou who hast brought us thus far on the way, Thou who hast by Thy might lead us into the light, Keep us forever in the path, we pray, lest our feet stray from the place of this God where we met thee. Lest our hearts drunk in the wine of the world we forget thee. Shadow beneath thy hands, may we forever stand. True to our God, true to our native land. Very good, very good. Well, look at your name and say you sounded pretty good tonight. All right, you can take your seats. Awesome, at this time I want to present um, to the podium um, who's gonna come and do our welcome and introduction. Um, the director of the City of Winston-Salem Humans Relations Department, Ms. Wanda Allen Abraha. Thank you, Commissioner Clinton. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to our third annual Showcase of Song for Black History Month. We at the City of Winston-Salem are very excited to see everyone here tonight and what a phenomenal way to kick off Black History Month, don't you think? Through the celebration of song. And so as many people know, song is a very uniting thing. Anything dealing with music is very uplifting typically and uniting. And so this is no exception. 
And so the program tonight is meant to show the link between the African culture and African American culture in honor and celebration of Black History Month here in the United States. And so you are in for a real treat tonight. You are going to hear all kinds of performances, whether they are choirs, whether you hear soloists, whether they're drummers, um, whether you hear children singing. Um, you're in for a treat from the country of Ethiopia. We have their choir with us. Um, so you're, you're just in for a real celebration. So I encourage you, even if your choir performs, don't leave after you perform, please. Just kind of hang around. You'd be surprised at what you'll learn and what you'll be exposed to. So enjoy yourselves. You know, just relax, take it all in, absorb the beauty that is the culture here in the city of Winston-Salem. So now, without further ado, I would like to call up to the podium our mayor pro tempore, Dr. Vivian H. Burke. Dr. Burke has been a real, real, big person in our community in terms of supporting black culture and all culture. So we want to really take our hats off to her. We want to certainly give her all of the accolades that she so richly deserves because she is always a supporter of anything that is multicultural and unifying, particularly when it involves our youth. And so Dr. Burke um, was one of the people who was on the board of aldermen a long time ago, back in around 1978 or so that um, created the Human Relations Commission. And so we are really humbled to have her with us tonight. Uh, we are really appreciative of the fact that she had the vision and foresight to create the Human Relations Commission and to still support the Human Relations Commission and department to this day. So Dr. Burke, would you please come on up to the microphone and <laughs> Thank you, attorney, and to all of us gathered here and to the staff of our Human Relations Commission, to the members who sit on the board to help them carry out their day-by-day -day activities and events. In behalf of the mayor and members of the city council, we know we cannot do it without you. And as it was stated, this is a beautiful time. As I was driving here, I thought about this great country we live in. And I said, from grades one to 12, 180 days each year, first grade, second grade, on up, I would say the pledge to the flag. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. And this made me know that this is my country and anything that I want in America, I can get. Because I have to have so much respect for myself that I respect what this country stands for. And when the attorney said bringing people together, this has been what we as elected officials have worked hard to do. Even back in the year that we got the human relations established, a diverse group of people, in fact, Mayor Wayne Corpenin appointed Jack Kavanaugh, who was an alderman, and me to serve with a group of citizens to say whether or not we needed a human relations commission with a diverse group on the Alderman's Board, we agreed that we did. We were one of the first cities to say that we know what it is to come together and to work together. We were one of the first cities to start the Dr. Martin Luther King holiday. Former Alderman Larry Womble made the motion and Alderman Robert Northerton second the motion. A diverse group on the board said yes. But I want you to know that we couldn't do these things if we didn't have good citizens who also love this great country, America. And before I sit down, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about Michael. 
I met Michael when he was a fifth grader at Lawrence. And Michael in the fifth grade had music in his bones. He had soul. And his fifth grade teacher didn't quite like the soul he had in his bones. And I said to Michael, that lady's going to put you out of school if you don't straighten up and stop doing what you're doing because you like to beat the drums. And I say, Michael, any time you feel like you want to beat the drums, come to my office. And you can beat the drums all you want. My love and appreciation for people's children kept a lot of them in school as their counselor. I can't call all the names of all the wonderful children that I've had the opportunity to work with. But when I see them through the years, I go up to them and say thank you for employing me. Thanks to your parents for making it possible for me to be who I am today in this great country, America. And the one who's shaking her head, if I don't say anything about Belinda Napa, I won't be able to live in this city. I must tell you, when I first met her, it was before I had my son. And then I had my son that October, but that year before, she was in my classroom in the third grade at a school called Carver Crest. And my husband became the principal of that school and had it named Ellie Cook. Belinda also had soul in her bones, too. So I always gave Belinda an assignment. Every time we had music, because she liked to be in charge, I said, every time we have music, it is your responsibility to make sure all the children will know the song that the teacher is teaching them, and when she comes back, they will be able to sing because you will be in charge. She was happy as she could be to be in charge. I want to tell all of you, thanks for the attention that you have given to me. Thanks to our little future leaders who are going to lead us one day. And may we all sit here, as has been stated by the attorney, now, you know, an attorney hits the gavel. She didn't hit a gavel, but she means for everybody to stay. Don't get up when you do your part and leave. God is good. God is great. Bless all of you. Let's hear the music with all of the wonderful ones participating. Thank you so much, Councilmember Burke. At this time, I would also be remiss if I did not have members and actually former members also of the Winston-Salem Human Relations Commission to stand. We've been talking about commissioners tonight, and so this is our advisory board. These are the people from the community who advise us on the matters that we handle at City Hall. So would all former and current Human Relations Commissioners please stand and wave if you're already standing. Thank you. Members of the Human Relations Department staff, would you please stand or wave if you're already standing? Human Relations staff. Thank you. And at this time, I'm going to call Commissioner Michael Clinton to the podium. And I didn't realize how musical uh, Commissioner Clinton was until a couple of years ago. And I didn't know how beautiful his voice was until tonight because he would refuse to sing for me when I would ask him to sing. So now I've heard his voice, so now I know. But um, he is really a very um, strong commissioner. We're very blessed to have him on the Human Relations Commission. He is the chairperson of the Community Relations Committee, and that is the committee that is in charge of organizing um, tonight's program. So he's also going to be our MC for the evening, and I would like to go ahead and turn the program over to him. Commissioner Clinton? Well, it is a, indeed a great honor to be uh, the MC of this third annual Black History Month Showcase of Song. And, and I would be remiss if we didn't um, give great applause to the director of the Human Relations 
um, department here in our city. He was doing an incredible job. Uh, for anyone that knows, Wanda Abraha knows that she works diligent, diligently and very hard, and she is truly making a difference in our city. So if we could give a round of applause to our director, Wanda Abraha. All right, so we're going to get right into our program. So at this time, I'm going to call to the stage the downtown school West African drummers. Let's give them a great round of applause. Hello, thank you all for coming. Um, this first song that we're going to play, it's called Cuckoo, and it comes from the Manyan people of Guinea, West Africa. Um, in the Manyan culture, um, well, actually, first, this is a fishing song. And in the Manyan culture, um, the women do the fishing while, and the men play the drums. And once the women are done fishing, they'll dance around with their fishing nets to this song. I hope you enjoy. Good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Doing okay? All right. So this is the Downtown School West African Drumming Squad. My name is Colin Tribby. I'm the assistant principal at the Downtown School, which is just down the street. We have our wonderful and lovely principal, Janet Atkinson, sitting back there in the purple. Wave. Hello. <laughs> Woo -hoo. And another Winston-Salem Forsyth County School principal beside her, Miss Nora Baker, who is also the chair of the Human Relations Commission which is awesome. 
This is really great because I'm also seeing a lot of my old students over here. Uh huh. Parkland in the house. Hello. How are you? Uh, we're going to do a tune in a second that uh, Marissa is going to tell you about, but I'm going to enlist your help. So I'm going to point to you different sections of the audience and just follow me. You guys will be good at this. You are going to actually clap along with these big drums in the back, and these are called dununs. Okay? So you got a song bond that Marissa is going to be playing. So all you guys over there, all you youngins, that's the hard part. You guys have to do the hard part, all right? Then for our, our veterans, let's say, you guys are going to be on the middle part following Mr. Lucas, and everybody else is going to get to follow Yinka here on the Dunumba, okay? So I'll point to you. You guys will be fine. They'll lead you. Uh, without further ado, this is uh, Miss Marissa Jackson to tell you about Mori Bayasa. Hello everyone, um, once again, thank you all for coming. Um, now our last song is called Mori Bayasa, and this is a song, um, it's a woman's dance, and she can only do this one time in her life whenever there's like a hardship in her life, like if her husband died or if there wasn't enough um, food to feed or, or support her family. So um, she would go to the village elders and she would dance to this beat around the village three or seven times because those are lucky numbers in the Malake people's culture. That's where this comes from. Um, when she's done, she would go to this giant mango tree called Moribiasa tree. And there's many mangoes in this, um, there's many mango trees there, but there's only one that's named after this song. And she would bury her troubles under it. And um, once again, thank you all for coming. Hope you enjoy it. At this time, we're going to bring to the stage the Wake Forest University Gospel Choir. Um, we're going to bring two selections to you all. Um, what if God is unhappy? And um, oh, oh, give thanks. Oh, oh, give thanks. I'm sorry. And they're both a cappella. Um, and I hope you all enjoy. Yes. Can we move these mics or no? Can, can we move these mics or no? Oh, they don't go very far. Okay. Just, just, just. Give me a second. I left my 
headphones in my car, so.
Next, we're going to call on um, one thing I like about the showcase. We try to um, we talk about Black heritage and Black um, music and um, where it, it comes from. And this next group have been on the program for um, all three showcases, and they bring a very unique sound, uh, which I always enjoy. And so at this time, we're going to um, ask and uh, thank the Kadana Merit Ethiopian Orthodox Church of the Triad. My name is Abiyo Abraha. Uh, this is uh, Kidana Merit Church. It, it's a uh, mercy of covenant. That means Kidana Merit. As you know, uh, Ethiopia and is, uh, Ethiopia is one of the oldest Christian country in the world. And then you saw uh, Lucy is one of, one of the uh, oldest uh, person found in Ethiopia, which we were born about two hours from there. Uh, and also, uh, we have a lot of Christian history in Ethiopia. Uh, Ethiopia, uh, as you can see in Bible, uh, is called Kish, which is a dark skin. Uh, you'll see a lot of things if you read the Bible about Ethiopia. Uh, we were born about two hours from the uh, Ten Commandment, which is uh, found in Aksum uh, in, in northern Ethiopia, which is the Ten Commandment is, uh, has to be uh, uh, in Ethiopia. So we started the first Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Uh, I'm the board chairperson in High Point, and it has been 10 years. Uh, it was uh, founded by the now, uh, he is the patriarch of Ethiopia, the uh, chairperson of all the Christians in, in, in Africa, which is Abuna Matthias. So they're going to sing uh, three songs in, in Amharic, uh, in Ethiopian language. So uh, basically they're just singing, uh, thanking God uh, for blessing us for this years and for uh, uh, basically the, that's the first one song. And the second one is called Aman Ba'amane, again, uh, another uh, Ethiopian song. So uh, the, our choir leader, uh, who's going to take us, so go ahead. Let's give them a hand. Besma'a, Bowel. Woman first good do's. I had do am lock. Amen. But I will woman first good do's. Amen. 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 Kidan, 
jenya mala jenya mala je hulu mabet jenya mala jenya mala jenya mala je hulu mabet kidane mirat kidane mirat kidane mirat kidane mirat yenya mala jenya mala jenya mala je hulu mabet eh yenya mala jenya mala jenya mala je hulu mabet kidane mirat kidane mirat kidane mirat kidane mirat yenya mala jenya mala jenya mala je hulu mabet eh yenya mala All right, good job, good job. As you can see, uh, uh, the drum itself right here uh, represents uh, when Jesus Christ uh, uh, was cru crucified, uh, right where he's, uh, this thing right here, the two, everything it has, uh, this is like a crown, and uh, so that's what, you know, this shows when they uh, beat Jesus Christ show, and that's how they uh, do it. So, uh, I'm a chemistry teacher. I don't know much about history, about uh, stuff, but that's, that's got a lot of history. Uh, our priest will, uh, will, will bring him one day to explain too much, but uh, that's, it has a lot of history behind it. Thank you so much. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna finalize the third one, says thank you, God. And so, Xavier Masgal. All right, thank you so much. We All right, one by one, go ahead. All right, we invite you to come High Point. It's 1822 Cedro Drive. If you want to eat good food, Ethiopian food, this ladies can cook. So Sunday after church, you're welcome to come. I know Mr. Jackson been there uh, before, so, you know, thank you so much. Salem, um, and I want to recognize and thank um, our city officials um, who supports such programming as this in a public forum um, to help us celebrate um, and allow us to celebrate um, black history in this manner. And so, of course, uh, without being said, let's give a great round of applause to um, Dr. and Mayor Pro Tem Vivian Burke, who is always supportive of what we do here in our city. And also, we want to thank 
our city council, um, Denise Adams of the North Ward, Dan Bessie of the Southwest Ward, Robert C. Clark of the West Ward, Molly Light of the South Ward, Jeff McIntosh of the Northwest Ward, Derwin, Derwin L. Montgomery of the East Ward, James Taylor Jr. of the Southeast Ward, and our city manager, Lee DeGarrity, again for their continued support. So let's give our city council a great round of applause. Okay, so moving right along. You know, a lot of these groups tonight, you notice are singing a cappella. Um, some of them may have a music accompaniment um, at certain times. Um, but tonight, this next group, um, I love to hear them sing because they sing a cappella and they have such a great, unique sound. Um, we used to call it back in the day, gospel prayer band. Um, that was kind of in common meter was another term that was often used uh, with this style of singing. And so at this time, we're so honored and privileged to have Mr. James H. Diggs, and I think it's just a portion of his group tonight. They're gonna come and render us a selection. So let's receive uh, Mr. Diggs as he come at this time. Mr. Diggs. I've been up and I've been down. I've been up and I've been down. Oh, but when I get to heaven, all of my troubles will be over and I won't be up and down no more. I've been up and I've been down. I've been up I've been down. Oh, but when I get to him, all of my troubles will be over and I won't be See what the Lord has done. 
woke me up this morning to see what the law has done. You are a cop. Oh, see what the law has done. Woke me up this morning. Law has done. You are a cop. Me the blessing. See what the law has done. It started me on my way. See what the law has done. You are a cop. Oh, see what the law has done. He put shoes on my feet. See what the law has done. You just can't be that blessed and see what the law has done. He healed this body of mine. Oh, the law has done. God can't be that blessed and see what the law has done. Well, he healed this body of mine. See what the law has done. Yeah, Lord, I can't See what the law has done. Well, he saved my soul. See what the law has done. You just got See what the law has done. Oh, he saved my soul. Law has done. Oh, God, me that blessed. See what the law has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Oh, God, bless that. See what the Lord has done. Up this morning, see what the Lord has done. Oh, God, many blessings. See what the Lord has done. Me up this morning, Lord. You just come to me, bless it. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. You will come to me, bless it. See what the Lord has done. My way. Oh, see what the Lord has done. Who come to me, bless it. See what the Lord has done. At this time, we're going to uh, bring up the Parkland High School Ensemble. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Oh, I'm going to try that one more time. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> all right, all right. Just making sure you all are awake. And here we are again, the Parkland Magnet High School Choral Ensemble. And we're going to perform for you Ride the Chariot, which is a traditional Negro spiritual. So we hope that you all enjoy.
the chain Cause I'm ready to go I never can forget that day Right When all my sins were taken away Right My feet were snatched from the miry clay Thank you so much. And we're going to invite to the stage our gospel choir to assist us with this next song entitled Lift Every Voice and Sing. But we put our own little Parkland Mustang spin on the song. So we hope that you enjoy. And we also have a little bit of a skit that we do right before this. So we hope that you enjoy that as well. Thank you. community has to face negative stereotypes in their language, culture, and citizenship. And speaking of citizenship, Latino immigrants contribute over $10 billion to the economy each year. And they still have to face injustice in their health care, social services, and education. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. A young African American man is 21 times more likely to be shot and killed by a police officer than a young Caucasian man. Our ancestors fought to be considered Women have had to fight for equality, and not just in this country, but in the whole world. We have to fight for the right as it pertains to our bodies. We have to fight to receive the same pay as men, and we even have to fight to serve our own country in combat. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. But listen, in other countries, homosexuality is punished with beatings, jail time, and even death. America is slowly beginning to give its homosexual citizens the right to marry, but they still face social injustice. This is as much of an issue as culture and race. No justice, no peace! No justice, no peace! No justice, no peace! No justice! Is this what America has come to? After generations of civil rights activists who fought and even laid their lives down on the line for freedom, we st the war still continues. But the war is the war is not black, white, Hispanic, male, or even female. The war is inside of us. It's the way we think. You see, our elders fought for freedom and justice and equality. But somewhere along the line, we fell asleep thinking that the war is over. We need to stop fighting each other and come together in unity and march on. March on to a future where the world is a better, safer, and more loving place. But the only way to get there is for us to march on! Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is one. <laughs>
And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have a song from our gospel choir entitled, We Shall Overcome. And I can go on and on um, about and talk about this next individual who is going to be representing Cleveland Avenue tonight um, with some of his group. And, and so I'm very proud and very honored to bring up to the stage at this time um, Mr. Goldsmith. Let's have a great round of applause for him as he comes. And sold out. All right, so since we don't have a piano, and uh, he, he did say I was a musician, I've been a musician for several years, I'm gonna need y'all help to pull this song off. Is that all right? Amen. So uh, I need you to clap your hands and stomp your feet, all right? So we going. <laughs> y'all gotta clap a little louder than that now. You gotta help me now. I got anybody know how to stomp their feet and clap at the same time? <laughs> Let me try this, here we go, say. What do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Wanna hear him say? Well done, good and, good and faithful servant, enter in the joy of the Lord. Y'all got it? Come on, everybody, do it again. Say, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, 
somebody. Come on, say it. What do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Well done. Good. Good stay right there. Want to hear him say? Good. Want to hear him say? Watch this. After a while, it will all be over. After a while, the sun gonna shine. After a while, the clouds will pass over. And we'll shout hallelujah after a while. After a while, it will all be over. Come on, after a while. After a while, the sun gonna shine. After a while. Shout. And we'll shout hallelujah. Do it again. After. After, after a while, it'll all be over. After a while, the sun will shine. After a while, the clouds will pass over. And we'll shout. And we'll shout hallelujah. After Here we go. a singer, and when I do, I have a piano to cover me up. And I saw all these cameras in here, and I just realized it ain't coming back to me. It's gone. Whatever it was, they got it on tape. Lord, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Uh, what a young man with the little pitch thing again. Bless your heart. I need a, I need a C sharp. You my piano tonight.
Bless your heart. Y'all are so, one more, bless your heart. We had a piano, I'd do 10 more. But this is what I've been asked though. I've been asked that everyone that participated, if you would come up to the stage, we're gonna try to do something together. That's what I've been asked for us to do. Y'all give everybody else a hand that's on the stage. Give us, give them another hand. I didn't get to see everybody. I know Parkland sounded really good uh, because my daughter sings with them. <laughs> That's why they sound so good, I know, I'm sure. My daughter sings with them. Y'all know every praise? Can we do that? Yes, Lord. Can we pull that off every praise? Hezekiah Walk, can we try that? Yes. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God, hey sing hallelujah to our God, glory You guys are mind blowing. Our MC for the evening, he's mind blowing. Thank you all so much. Thank you. And I really must give all credit. I, I cannot take credit for this. I have to give credit to one of our former human relations yeah. commissioners, Ms. Pam Peoples yeah. Joyner. This was her idea to get everybody back up there to sing. So thank you so much. That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Thank you. Any, any closing words, Commissioner Clinton? Again, let's give everybody a great round of applause. Everybody was fantastic. And just before we close out, again, Winston-Salem has some wonderful talent to Mitchell Goldsmith and sold out. Thank you guys tonight. And you can tell a really good choir because I've, I've heard them with music and they are incredible. And you guys sound just as good without music. So I'm telling you, that's when you know you got good singers when you don't have music. So you guys were fantastic. But these guys travel all over the country. You can go to their Facebook 
Facebook page, uh, Mitchell Goldsmith and Sold Out. Go to their page and like their page and go out there and put some wonderful comments and say, man, thank you for coming tonight. But they were fantastic. So I just want to say to you guys again, thank you for coming and sharing. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful evening. We appreciate your time. We will see you next year. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Drop safe.